and uh, call the member for Dunkley. Uh, thank you, Deputy Speaker. Um, it's my pleasure to note this interim report of the Joint Select Committee into the Family uh, Law System today. I, I wasn't a member of the committee I'm, and not on the inquiry, but I wanted to take this opportunity to speak on behalf of all of the people in Dunkley who have been and, and, and are going through the family law system uh, and on behalf of the Peninsula Community Legal Centre. The recommendations in this interim report are considered and I wanted to congratulate those members of the committee who took to this task in good faith and with a real intention to improve the lives of people and particularly to improve the lives of people who often are going through the worst experience they will go through in their lives, which is the breakdown of a relationship. You know, by definition, um, if you're at the family court, your relationship has broken down. Um, but it does not have to be a re-traumatising experience the way that the member for Cowan has so eloquently described it as. And it certainly should not be a re-traumatising experience for children. You know, for if anyone is innocent in the breakdown of a relationship, it is the children. And we cannot continue to have a family law system um, where children's experiences and voices are too often not heard or not heard properly, and where the system allows them to be used at times as weapons in an ongoing fight between their parents. The Peninsula Community Legal Centre in my electorate of Dunkley is staffed by the most dedicated lawyers and service professionals that one could hope to meet because they are people that are working in the justice system, to be honest, not to make money for themselves. You know, and most of them could go out and make a huge amount more money in the private system, but they want to serve their community. And they do so essentially on the smell of an oily rag. And when I have spoken to the Peninsula Community Legal Centre, about, and Jackie Galloway, their general manager, who is an amazing woman, about, well, what do you want to see change in the family law system? And uh, are you putting in recommendations? I see the weariness in their eyes and the weariness in their demeanour because they have put in these submissions over and over again to various inquiries. And as the member for Cowan also just said, the time for the submissions are over and, and they want a number of things to change in the family law system, um, and a number of them are addressed in the recommendations of this report. You know, funding for community legal centres is money so exceptionally well spent because it is, um, in some ways, a preventative measure of people getting caught up in a legal system over and over again and not being able to get out because they can't represent themselves or because. Um, they are forking out all of their savings and all of their retirement savings often to pay for private lawyers, which leads to further problems down the track, which often gets them back into the justice system. Funding a community legal centre and an entire legal system properly is for the good of the entire community, including those of us who aren't using it. But in particular, it's for the good of some of the most vulnerable people in our community who just need help in the time of great crisis. And that's what the Peninsula Community Legal Centre and community legal centres across Australia do. So, you know, building on the Australian Law Reform Commission report of 2019 and the Productivity Commission report and, and pleas of people across the justice sector and Justice Connect for years and the recommendation in this report, we need to fund those community legal centres properly. We also, I agree, need to look at the fees that are charged privately. I, I agree with, um, and this won't surprise people given that I come um, to this place with a legal background and having been a practising um, lawyer and barrister, I agree with the proposition that lawyers need to be paid and paid well for the job that they do. And this isn't often said, but a lot of lawyers, particularly those that work in community legal 
um, areas, family law and um, criminal law, often work over and above what they get paid for. But not all lawyers, and in not all cases. And when we have a family law system that is supposed to be helping people divvy up their savings and their property for the good of them and the good of their children, we shouldn't be leaving them to divvy up the dregs that remain at the end of a protracted adversarial system where the lawyers have had to have been paid so much money because it's gone on for so long. You know, today, just today, I've had two emails from constituents, one telling me about um, her daughter who, had, who exhausted all of her superannuation to pay for the family law legal fees. And we know what happens when women retire without decent superannuation. And another who wanted to tell me um, about a situation um, where her daughter is having to go to her um, father for a loan in order to go through the family law system. That's just two stories from today. So I wholeheartedly endorse the proposition that we have to have a family law system where access to justice means something. It shouldn't be a system that's available for those that can pay. It shouldn't be a system that works well for those who have resources only. It should be a system for everyone. Um, and like uh, my Labor colleagues and some of the, cro and the crossbench who voted against um, the government's legislation, I just want to restate my profound disappointment at the um, changes to the family law system which have um, effectively led to the abolition of a specialist family law court. We've, in, in this week, when we've heard thousands and thousands of women and the men that support them around the country calling for a better system to deal with domestic and family violence, to lose the specialised system to deal with people who have gone through that is a tragedy. We didn't need to lose the family law court. We needed better funding and better resources for the family law court to be able to deal with people who are dealing with family and domestic violence, particularly children. Thank you.